So outside of thinning hair, a receding hairline and bald patches on your scalp, the next common you ask scalp care question that we get is itch, recurrent dandruff that just doesn't seem to go away, as well as flaky build-up prone scalp. And that sort of like makes your hair styling less enjoyable and less comfortable. So let's talk about it a little bit. First and foremost, you need to detox your scalp because it's one thing to clean, but it's completely another to find detoxing properties that are going to really attract the toxins on your scalp. So you're going to look for ingredients such as activated charcoal. So this activated charcoal shampoo has things like limonene, activated charcoal, of course, that are really going to come in there and do all the work that's required to leave your scalp more detoxed, more cleaner and more ready to receive other products that you're going to put on next. And then another important product that I think is very uncommon is using a scalp exfoliating scrub. And you can exfoliate your scalp in two ways. One is you can just find a scalp brush and sort of like really work it onto your scalp as you're shampooing. Or you can also incorporate a scalp exfoliating scrub. This again has lemon peel extract. It's got jojoba beads. It's got all of the ingredients that your scalp really needs to really come in and take off that thin layer. The dead skin cells, everything that can really clog your scalp and your pores this is really going to come in and do that so use a scalp exfoliating scrub once a week and then most importantly most importantly treat your scalp i know it's so common for us to treat our hair you do a protein treatment or a deep conditioning moisture treatment or whatever treatment you want to do a scalp treatment is so important because it comes in there it works at a deeper level than your normal topical product and it's going to help really remedy some of the scalp issues that you have for the medium to long term so use this once a month or once every two months and it should actually come in and really alleviate some of the long-term dandruff some of the itch the irritation the discomfort and lastly, I will say on a daily basis or as and when needed, you can actually incorporate an anti-itch tea tree mist. The anti-itch tea tree mist really comes in to offer almost like instant relief. It's more of a topical product. Um, it comes in to sort of like soothe the scalp um, when the itch really is starting to kick in. You can just take it, spray it on the affected areas. You can also use it as a waterless cleanser if you want. Spray um, a good amount of it on a cotton bud, run it over your scalp, and it's going to leave you feeling so clean, so airy on the scalp, and it takes away all that irritation and discomfort instantly. So you can incorporate this whether you have braided hair or you don't have braided hair, that's absolutely fine. Use it on your scalp for instant itch relief. It's got this breezy feeling that it leaves on your scalp. You know, it's super lightweight, um, it's super fast absorbing. So I hope that helps and let me know what else you would like me to talk about.